What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and unfortunately it's back to school season, I know, I feel for you, been through it all. But it's also the most anticipated time because we are dropping the back to school tech video today, showing you guys a ton of cool things that you could use and take advantage of for school time, no matter what grade you're in as well, whether middle school, high school, college, university, anything like that, these are all aimed to help you out. I will have them all listed for you in the description down below so you can check them out as well. And wasting no time starting off, we're going to hop into it with a backpack from Life Easy. This one's really great because it's super convenient for carrying a ton of stuff around while staying compact, anti-theft prevention, waterproof, it's got it all. So I recently picked this one up for $40 and I was really impressed when I got it in. Now what's unique about this is it has this sort of like roll up buckle design. So that means while you're wearing it around, people can't just, you know, quickly unzip it and take something. It rolls up nicely of two buckles on each side to keep it all secure so you can rest easy there. Now for quick access to things like pens, pencils, chargers, whatever, there is a little zipper in the front for an extra sleeve. And on the bottom here is a whole separate compartment for carrying around things like shoes. Maybe you're gonna hit the gym after class or you got sports. And what's super convenient is this compartment on the side, which is perfect for sliding in something like your laptop. This can easily fit a 15 inch laptop, but I know for me at university, I was bringing mine around every day. So having this quick and easy access here on the side is great. But there's tons of room on the inside for carrying around books, electronics, whatever you need with you. There's also another sleeve inside there for you know, kind of like organizing some stuff. You got ample padding on the backside and the entire backpack is waterproof. So if you're caught out in the rain, it's not gonna get your stuff wet on the inside. So for 40 bucks, I'm a big fan of it. Like I said, that roll up buckle design here for anti-theft is huge. Looks nice and simple and tons of room for everything. Now next up is going to be a little lamp that doubles as a wireless charger. Great for your bedroom, your dorm room. So this was actually a recent pickup for the office, but then I found it was a perfect fit for this video. Put it on your nightstand, your desk in your dorm room, and it's going to be a great fit. So what I like about this is it has this fold up design and on the base of the lamp is going to be all your options. Obviously your power button, you get four different sort of color options with two warmer colors and two cooler colors. And the bottom arrows are gonna be for adjusting the brightness. And then in the middle, you can see that one hour and two hour button. That's gonna be like an auto fade out feature where after an hour, after two hours, the light will shut off automatically for you. And that's really cool. But what makes this lamp a game changer is the actual base is also a wireless charging pad for your smartphone. Obviously a lot of phones have this feature built in. So the fact that you can just slide it on there and it'll start charging for you is a huge plus. And say your phone doesn't have wireless charging, there is a built-in USB port on the back of the lamp, so you can just plug in a cable and still charge away. This is like almost a necessity for a dorm room setting. So this lamp's gonna cover all your needs, giving you enough light to, you know, read a book at your desk, get some homework done, anything like that. Definitely impressed with it. Now next, I know when I was in college, we had student IDs, we needed these to get everywhere. You couldn't get into your dorm without it, any building, the cafeteria. Needed this on you 24 seven and since it is, you know, a little card, it could often get lost and you're trying to fumble around with your bag, just like that. So it's more of a convenient way than having a card holder on the back of your phone that you can put in a card or two, great for carrying around like your debit card, student ID, always with you, literally on the back of your phone. Now the three pack I picked up was like 10 bucks. It comes in this white, gray, and black color. You can also get them in different colors. So it'd be great for like representing your school colors and stuff like that. But it's a great little concept. Like I said, just super convenient if you have to carry a card around with you. I know my high school didn't, but like I said, at college, we needed our student ID 24 seven. And for $10, definitely hard to complain, but also going right along with that is gonna be this Herschel Charlie card holder. This is more along the lines of a slimmer wallet. This can carry up to 10 cards, plus the top of it opens up so you can fit in some coins, cash, just stuff like that. I've always been a fan of Herschel wallets. They're just really well made and they come in a ton of different colors and patterns and finishes. And having a slim one like this, you can always have with you, not bulging out of your back pocket, but still carrying around all your cards, and some cash is really great. The Charlie wallet was under 20 bucks. I want to say it was like $15, but super thin, very minimal, definitely a great pickup for students. And kind of going right along with losing your student ID, um, same thing's gonna go for your keys. This is the KeySmart Pro. This is like a smart key organizer. Has some pretty cool features built in actually. So these can hold up to 10 keys at once, which is gonna make you know your key ring probably a lot more organized and less like a creepy janitor. But why the KeySmart Pro is pretty cool is it actually uses the tile technology where you can track this and find out where it is if you lost it. It pairs to your phone with the tile app and there you could see you know on the GPS where this is. 
And if you can't find them in the app, you can press a button and your key smart will kind of like have these chimes go off. It's pretty much like a loud ringtone, but on the key smart. And then vice versa, if you press the button on your key smart, your phone will go off in case you lost your phone. Now to give you an example real quick of how it sounds, just press the find button on your phone and then this will go off. Got the little chime for you. And then vice versa, if I double press this, then my phone will go off. Great for trying to find this around your room or your dorm if you just, you know, dropped it between your bed or something like that, you just can't find it. But if you want a more just simple version that doesn't have those features built in and you're mainly looking for a key organizer, the regular key smart ones are like, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. You can get them in different colors and stuff like that. It's gonna do the same thing, hold like six to eight keys. And on their website, they actually have a thing where you can customize them. So I have one with like my logo, one with the name. It's some pretty cool stuff. Next up, just changing it up for a minute, we're gonna talk software for students. And that's gonna be Microsoft Office, definitely essential. I know it retails for like $250 but I'll tell you how you can get it much, much cheaper for just around 30. And yes, this is legit. Yes, it works. It's using SCD keys. So I'll put the direct link down below for you guys. But if you head over to scdkey.com and using my code word SKRANDOM2, that'll save you some money. Just paying over $200 for this is insane. And it's already discounted on the site, but like I said, with the code, it'll save you guys some money. And then from there, if you go over to like your recent orders, you'll see the little button that says like, get my key and it'll show it right there for you so you can redeem it. And while we're at it, if you do want like a $12 Microsoft 10 Pro key, if you haven't like authenticated yours yet or activated it, I'll just put an additional link down below for you guys. But I think no matter how old you are, what level of student you are, you're gonna need Microsoft Office. I know PowerPoint was a big thing, writing papers of Word. You need Office, do not overpay for that. Next order of business is gonna be a crazy thin, lightweight, but still powerful laptop, the LG Gram 13 inch. I reviewed the 15 inch earlier on this year, and I think this would be a great pickup for students. So like I said, when I was in college, I always had my laptop with me because a lot of lectures required you to take notes and do things online along with the lecture. So having something like this LG Gram, which is 34 ounces, super lightweight, super portable, probably feels like a piece of paper compared to your textbook. So you're gonna be able to get all your classwork done, no problem. And even for like a lot of the uh, different spec models, handling things like Photoshop, Premiere is not gonna be an issue at all. It's still a powerful laptop like you'd expect just without the weight and the bulk. So the one that I have here is the Core i5. It's a 1080p screen. You can also actually choose if you wanna pick up a touchscreen version or not. The keys are backlit. You get tons of ports for accessibility. I think it is a great laptop for students of any age. Then next up for the less power needy users in terms of workflow, it's gonna be this brand new Microsoft Surface Go. This just came out. This is the $400 cheaper version, but in terms of like an overall sort of laptop and tablet hybrid, this could be a pretty good option for students. So if you need basic note taking or you know having your textbooks all on here, cause it is pretty much a tablet, this could replace all your actual tangible notebooks in your backpack. That's where the Surface Go kind of shines for the price. Now I also picked up the stylus and their nice like fabric keyboard, which is optional. So it's $400 base, but once you get it all configured, it's definitely closer to around 600, which is kind of pricey for a tablet. But the keyboard magnetically just snaps right into place on the go. It's gonna give you more of that laptop accessibility. It is a 10 inch display coming in at 1800 by 1200 P. But for taking notes, like I said, using the tablet to, you know, jot stuff down, something with graphic design or Photoshop, drawing out quick doodles, anything like that, this could be pretty good for. So if you don't need a new laptop, you're looking for something, you know, more along the lines of a tablet, the Surface Go is gonna be great for that. Having all your e-textbooks right on here, pretty lightweight as well, throw it in your bag and be good to go. Next up, I know dorm rooms, and especially where I was, uh, they can get very, very hot. The AC could be iffy. You might not even have AC in your dorm. So that's where this tiny little USB desktop fan is gonna come in hand. This is very simple, self-explanatory, a little personal fan for you that is powered by a USB port, whether that is your laptop, a battery bank, your PC, you get the idea. It has this little revolving aluminum stand so you can angle it up and down or anything. And there's two speeds and how you control that is on the top, it is touch sensitive. So you can go in and turn it on and off or do the lowest speed setting or the highest speed setting just by touching the top. So I've been there, I've had a personal fan unit before, even for something like putting this on your desk while you're studying or have it aimed towards your bed at night while you're sleeping, it could definitely cool you down. This is also pretty cheap as well. 
been winding on down if you've got a full day booked for classes and stuff. That's where this rugged Nomad charging cable is going to come into play because it also has a built-in battery bank. So yes, it's a standard charging cable, but the battery bank is actually built into this too. Now, why I like this for students is because if your phone's gonna die or you're using it a lot throughout the day, you need some extra juice still, the 2800 milliamp hour battery bank should definitely help you out. Odds are that'll give you mostly a full charge depending on your phone. And when you get back to your dorm room, you plug it in, use it as a regular cable, and it's gonna recharge the battery bank. So a nice little all-in-one unit here from Nomad. Again, 2800 milliamp hours, all packed into this cable. Definitely good pickup for students. And then lastly, but definitely not least, you're probably gonna roll your eyes. I know, I talk about them a lot, but they're just so affordable now. That is external hard drives. For students, these are essential. This four terabyte one from Western Digital, I got for $100. This two terabyte Seagate one was $45, I wanna say. That is crazy cheap. For backing up your laptop, in case anything happens, you'll have an extra copy of all your files. You don't wanna miss out and like lose a, uh, an important term paper, anything like that, like an essay. We're saying college, your classes are a lot with things like digital media. I know one time my animation project was like 400 something gigs. So yeah, you get the idea. You know all the projects and papers you gotta do. And that's where we're picking out these much more affordable external hard drives come into play. Um, I'll put both of these down below for you guys. And that'll wrap it up, guys. Hope you enjoyed this back to school tech video for 2018. Don't forget, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below in case you want to check anything out. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed this video. Happy back to school time, even though it's probably not happy at all. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs>